One day, I along with my friend was there at one shop and we were buying a packet of chips. My friend found that one packet was punctured or not contain any gas. Then I suggested him not to go with that packet. Then he asked why. Then I answered that we should avoid the packet of chips which do not contain any gas. Then he smiled at me and replied, yes, you are right. Actually, he was also not knowing the correct answer. But here, did you notice I am not answering the question, that is why. Watch this video till the end to avoid these type of irrelevant or illogical answer. Okay, so in a 100 rupees packet or a 5 rupees packet or any packet that we are using in a day or once a week at least, the gas which is used in all those packet is nitrogen gas, which is an inert gas. Now, one question may come in your mind that a lot of gas is already present, then why we are using only and only nitrogen gas? To know that, we have to know the characteristics of the nitrogen gas. The very first characteristics of the nitrogen gas is the repellent nature of the gas, which means it does not allow to mix any other gas, especially the oxygen gas. See, the main reason of the spoilage of the food is due to the direct contact with the oxygen of the food product. Second point is it does not react with the food product and preserve the texture, aroma, color of the food product, which means increasing the self life of the food. Okay, it's totally fine if you're not knowing the term like self life, inert gas. I'm going to link the definition of this term in the description part. And the third characteristics of the nitrogen gas is the availability of the nitrogen gas. And at the same time, it is cheaper than any other gas. See, one thing we have to know that the alternative of the nitrogen gas is the argon. But due to availability issue and the higher cost of the argon gas, we are not preferring to use it. If there is a packet of 10 rupees in which nitrogen gas is If we use argon gas in that place, it will be more than 11 or 12. So obviously, we may go for nitrogen gas. We do not have any problem, I, I know that. We have no problem with nitrogen gas. We have no problem with nitrogen gas. And that is the reason why it is used in the industry too. Okay, so if anybody asks to you that which gas is present in all the packets, then you have to answer like this. Nitrogen gas is used which is an inert gas and does not change the aroma, color, texture of the food product, hence non-reactive to the food product, at the same time easily available and cost effective. Okay, so that's it for today's guys. If you're watching till now, then you may like the content. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon and thumbs up, thumbs down according to whatever you felt about this video. Thanks for watching. Love you all.